Assalamu alaikum my dear student, how are you? Hope all are you fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to our NIBS Home School. This is Sonia Khanjoya, assistant teacher of National Idea English Version School, Monship Dhaka. Today I am going to take an English first paper class for the student of class 6 student. And our today's topic is paragraph and completing story discussion. Look at the board my student. This is class 6, subject English first paper. Topic paragraph plus completing story term how fairly lecture 14. So, my student, let's start out today's topic. Look at the board, my student. This is very important for you. English first paper, how fairly examination syllabus, writing part. This is the syllabus of writing part. Your paragraph, three paragraph number one, railway station, number two, good health, number three, the victory day, and completing story three. One, once upon a time, two friends went on a journey. Number two, once upon a time, there was an old farmer. And sorry, there was an old farmer. Okay. Once upon a time, there was an old farmer. And number three, once a lion was first asleep in a deep forest. So, my student, look at the board carefully. This is your half yearly examination writing part syllabus. Your pa paragraph three paragraph and three completing story again i am saying your three paragraph and three completing story in your half yearly examination writing for syllabus look at the board this is very important for you Par three paragraph and three completing story and and we will start paragraph one we will today we will start paragraph one railway station paragraph one railway station a well, here is some questions number a question what is a railway station? What do passengers do here? How is the building of a railway station made? Uh, what can one see of a station from a distance? What are the functions of a pointsman? How does the station look when a train arrives and when it leaves the station? So, here are some questions uh, and you now you have to write a paragraph about these questions so we'll start our paragraph a railway station a railway station is a place where basically trains stop and start from there is a platform in the railway station passengers generally get down and get into a train from a railway station the building of the buildings of a railway station are generally made red bricks and concrete. There are two separate waiting rooms for both male and female passengers. In a railway station, there are a ticket counter, a booking office for goods, restaurants, book stall, tea stall, and station master's room, etc. Before the arrival of a train, the pointsman gets them down from the train. The pointsman moves with his, with his red and green flags to show curtain signal. When a train arrives, the railway station becomes busy and noisy. When a train leaves the stations, it again becomes calm and quiet at all. So my dear student, this is our paragraph about railway station and you have to write um, these uh, questions answer related. You have to write this answer question answer related in this paragraph. So you have to write a paragraph about a railway station and our second topic is completing story number one. Completing story number one. Read the beginning of the following story and complete it in your own way. Give a title to it. Again, I will read this. Read the beginning of the following story and complete it in your own story. Give a title to it. So, there is an uh, incomplete story. There is a incomplete story. Now, I will read it. Once upon a time, two friends went on a journey. They had to go through a forest on the way. As they came through the wood, they saw a bear approaching. So, there is an incomplete sentence. Now, you have to, first you have to write a title. 
first you have to write a title about this incomplete story so for it is very important for you that you have to write a title you have to write a title it is very important now first you have to write this incomplete story now once upon a time two friends went on a journey they had to go through a forest on the way as they came through the wood they saw a bear approaching so this is our incomplete story now we start our uh, now we start our full story both of them came frightened but suddenly one of them climbed up a tree the other the other finding no other alternative lay flat on his face without breathing the bear soon came up put down its head and smelled his body as he lay down without breathing the bear took him to be dead and went away seeing the bear going away the other man came down the tree he then said to his friend what did the bear whisper into your ear his friend replied he gave me a piece of good advice what is that he asked he told his friend that the bear say do not trust a friend who leaves you alone in a danger so my dear student this underlined sentence uh, uh, will your this underlined sentence is your next part of the story this underlined sentence will uh, is your next and uh, next part of the story again i am saying this answer both of them came frightened but suddenly one of them climbed up a tree the other finding no other alternative lay flat on his face with a breathing <clears throat> the bear soon came up put down its head and smelled his body as he lay down with a breathing the bear took him to be dead and went away seeing the bear going away the other man came down the tree he then said to his friend what did the bear spur into your ear his friend replied <coughs> he gave me a piece of good advice what is that he asked he told his friend that he the that the bear say do not trust a friend who leaves you alone in a danger so my dear student this is our today's topic again i'm saying your writing part your writing part half yearly writing part syllabus paragraph 1 2 3 and completing story 1 2 3 and our today's topic paragraph 1 real station and complete story completing story 1 and my dear student your homework number 10 and paragraph 2 and completing story 3 will your homework again i'm saying your homework number 10 and paragraph 2 and complete story 3 you will your homework this paragraph 2 and complete story number 3 will your homework paragraph 2 and complete story number paragraph 2 and complete story number 3 will your homework so my dear student i hope all of you student have understood today's topic and we will do your homework keep stay at home see you again inshallah